We've got whiskey, Guinness, and even an Irish coffee. So let's start the show. We're in Dublin and we're going to the Jameson Distillery. Well, if you're in Dublin, there's only two possible drinks that you're going to have. It's going to be whiskey, and it'll be Jameson's, or it will be Guinness. And we are going to be sampling both on this episode. Our first stop, as Paul has just said, is the Jameson Distillery. And it's right in the centre of an area called Smithfield. So why have we come to the distillery? As if I have to ask. You don't have to ask. You know that I'm a big fan of whiskeys. Um, I've been to the one in Northern Ireland called Bushmills. I've been to a few of them in Scotland. Um, but I haven't ever been to any of them in the Republic of Ireland. So this is gonna be a first for me. Now we're not doing the full tour today. Uh, we're going straight to the drinks, isn't that right? So this is going to be like a whiskey tasting. I think that we will be tasting either three or four whiskeys. I'm not sure how many. I think it might be four, I'm not sure. And so this is what you would call a liquid lunch, is it? A liquid something. Oh well, let's get tasting. Enjoy that, Paul. Loved it. What was the best bit, do you think? Whiskey. Oh, just whiskey? No, it was all the different whiskeys and particularly the last one. Which was the Black Barrel, was it? Black Barrel, yes. And you bought one as well, didn't you? And which one was that? I think it was the Crest. The... Was it the Crested? distillery one. Oh, the distillery edition, which is only available here. Yes. And we had a fantastic guide to all our drinks and we give it a thumbs up and highly recommend a visit to the Jameson Distillery here at Bow Street. Can I just add one more thing? Sure. I think for those of you that haven't been to a distillery, you should go on a tour. But for those of you who have been on those tours, should just go straight to the tasting, I think. Yeah, because, I mean, the uh, the basics of making whiskey are the same, and no matter which distillery you visit. Um, there are diff little subtle differences, I suppose, along the way. But if you do a tasting, then you really get to sample exactly what that particular whiskey's like.
So we've had our whiskey poll. It's got a little bit chilly after, even though we got warmed up, a bit chilly outside. And now it is time for the Guinness. What do you think? Can't wait to give that a go. And we are at St. James's Gate here in Dublin. It's the headquarters of Guinness. And we've, we've been here before, haven't we? Yes, we have. Well, I think that is the Guinness Gravity Bar. So we have an appointment to go in and enjoy a nice pint of Guinness. So let's get going. So we're doing the self-guided tour. What do you think of it so far, Paul? It's very educational, but I've seen it all before. And we've seen pints of Guinness many times before, and we are really wanting to see another one right about now. Don't just sit there staring at them, Paul. Let's drink them. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. What do you think? Delicious. You know what? I think Guinness always tastes better in Ireland, especially in Dublin at the Guinness storehouse. So cheers, cheers. Thanks for watching our show today. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Yes, do, please subscribe. I mean, really, please subscribe. It's time to take the tram again. Now, forgive my pronunciation, but the tram in Dublin is the Laus, Lewis, L-U-A-S. Please do not write in. Anyway, we're gonna get a ticket and we're probably gonna use it more than once today. So we're gonna go for a flexi ticket. So we'll go there and we want a one day adult, which is seven euro 30. And we want two of those. Can we add more tickets? Yes two so that's 1460 for all zones valid for unlimited travel 1460 continue and we want to pay for that so what do we do now do you need to say visa mastercard or something ah right maybe that's what it is mastercard no oh okay okay i guess it just wants us to oh it's, it's lit up contactless it's made a little noise 
please follow instructions on the credit card terminal. It says approved. Would you like a receipt? Yes. And the tickets are printing. So there should be two tickets and a receipt, I'd imagine. Thank you. Please take your tickets and your receipt. Yeah, thanks. And there we go. So we have our one day flexi ticket for all zones. for Grafton Street Shopping District. Fahish Diyavma. Thordingen Shah the Hyantar Shopadoyak the Pride Grafton. This is Grafton Street. It's the main shopping street in Dublin and home to many of your popular high street stores and Irish independent stores. But there is only one stop to make in Grafton Street if you've only got like a short amount of time. You have got to go to Bewley's Coffee Shop. I can remember coming to Bewley's many years ago. In fact, every time I've been to Dublin, I've been to Bewley's for a coffee or a meal. Now, it's a place which has had its ups and downs over the years. I'm happy to say that it is open and thriving once again. And it's a truly exotic building inside and out. And perfect spot to come for a coffee when you're out shopping. Well, Bewley's really is a popular spot. And I think it just goes to prove today because there is a 10 to 15 minute waiting time. They have taken our name and we are lined up with menu in hand and hopefully it won't be too long until we get seated. So we are sitting in Bewley's now. I've, I have ordered a Irish coffee and a pistachio cake. I don't think it's ever too early to be having an Irish coffee. Do you? And despite talking about the coffee, I've plumped for a breakfast tea. And look, it even says the exact time that it was made and how long it should brew for. My favourite store, of course, is Dunn Stores, and it is a department store across the entire island of Ireland. I can remember a home in Ballymoney going into Dunn Stores and buying cans of Coke, like super sized cans, packs of them at cut price, and other groceries. We always got our bread, our milk, and all our, our general shopping there. Um, in Dublin, uh, there are several branches of Dunn Stores. And some of them are split into groceries for one set of shopping and clothes for the other. This is the grocery one, and I need my bread, tray bakes, and Irish tea, so I'm gonna go in now. Clothes shopping at Dunn's is something I've been doing since a child. And I'm going to let you into a little secret. I've only ever worn Dunn Stores underwear. I suppose it's a bit like some people who have only ever trusted M&S. After I moved to England, I discovered that Dunn's had a few branches in Great Britain, in England and Scotland, but those have now closed down. So if I can't get to Ireland or Northern Ireland, I have to rely on buying them online. However, I'm here in Dublin, so it's time to get my knickers in a twist. This is Penny's. You may know it as Primark or Primark, whichever way you say it, but in Dublin and in Ireland, they say it Penny's. And it reminds me of an old Christmas ad 
where it was pennies, got a whole lot of things for Christmas, got a lot for the family, got a lot for the family. How long have we been here? About that long. I could stay here all day. Well, maybe we just will. But there's still a lot more of Dublin to see. And we hope that you can join us on our next episode because we're back once again. So until then, from me and Paul, bye for now. Bye. Cheers, everyone. Delicious. And creamy, too. Fancy another one then? Of course, always. <laughs> and fun. And what?